report from across the pond is not good news for millennials. A British think tank says millennials in the UK are on track to be the first ever generation to record lower lifetime earnings than their parents. The report shows how millennials are falling behind when it comes to wealth, earnings, and home ownership. So just looking at this report, a typical millennial will earn $10,000 less in the UK in their 20s than their parents, those are, who are in Generation oh. X, which is a significant amount of money. Right, and I think that, that statistics reflect that it's happening here as mm -hmm. well. A, a lot of you know political talk about wage stagnation. I think kids are set, uh, saddled by student debt, so they're not buying homes. I, I think this is a real problem in this country. Well, and Kylie, we're a part of the millennial generation, mm -hmm. and when you talk to your friends about this, do you feel like they don't feel uh, that they're on the same track record to maybe be successful as their parents? I don't know that my, my friends and people that I I talk to don't feel like they're on the same track record they just feel like they got a little bit of a later start yeah a lot of friends uh, that I had when they were graduating from college it took a year two years of working jobs and not necessarily in their career track before they got to that point and then once they did the student loan debt is pretty unmanageable for a lot of people so Esme I think you hit it right on the head we have so many people that are just right. straddled under these loans and there's not much they can do about it at this point right and, and I think the concern about the future and mm -hmm. will the next generation be better, I think that's why you saw the campaigns of Donald Trump and also Bernie Sanders, mm -hmm. opposite ends of the spectrum, but mm -hmm. both doing so well because people are worried and they're angry and they're upset about the future. And when you look at owning a home, the baby boomer, boomer generation was 50% more likely to own a home than those of millennials. That's in the UK, but here in the US, home ownership is down right about 6% in the last 10 years. And when I think of millennials, I just want your opinions on on this. Do you yeah. think millennials have the desire to own a home, maybe, Kylie? I don't think it's as big of a priority as it used to be, but also we're seeing millennials move more for jobs. Right. You know, you're going into a job saying, okay, I'm going to put in one or two years in this city, and then, you know, maybe I want to live in this city or this city. So buying a home doesn't make sense in that situation. Also, more millennials are staying at home with their families, a lot with the to idea save money. to save money mm -hmm. and to eventually buy a home. It's just happening later. Right, and I also think that they're scared. They've seen their mm. parents lose so much value during the oh, Great Recession yeah. in their own homes, and they're thinking, this is a risk, I want to make sure I know what I'm doing. And as a parent, what are your concerns for your kids, for their future, Esme? Well, I, you know, I worry about these things as well, and you worry about the cost of college. I think it's enormous. It's, it's very difficult. I also wonder with, uh, you know, we're seeing people not making quite as much money. We're also seeing this generation choose jobs. Absolutely. Not necessarily based on money, yes. but based on, you know, the work-life balance or careers that mean more to them than just taking that paycheck and then getting out the door. Maybe yes. more motivated to uh, find that right job than maybe find a spouse too, which makes Absolutely. a difference when it comes to buying a house. It does.